Hello, I'm Intrilism, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Democratic Denmark. So, uh, everybody seems to be at war. I mean, Italy is in a different faction to the Axis, but bear that in mind, Poland's also in a faction of, you know, I guess you'd call them communist bloc, Eastern European states, although there really isn't a communist bloc in this time, but whatever. Um, they're getting trounced by the Soviet Union, but the Soviet Union is now fighting Germany. Uh, at the same time, Italy and the Axis, the Axis have been joined by Japan, are fighting the Allies. National Spain hasn't picked a side. Uh, Japan is crushing over there. And we haven't picked a side either, but we are almost getting to war. And we're going to try and take a chunk out of Germany. But that'll be a little while until we're ready. Not quite yet. Menkuko joined the Axis. I'm, I'm sure that'll be a, a linchpin of the war. I say that, I'm smaller. So I can't really judge. Oh well. <sighs> I'm surprised France is holding on. Oh, they're pushing back. Yeah, that'll be because Germany had to redirect its forces. I might have to go to war sooner. If this keeps going like this, I might have to go to war sooner. Oh my god, this is way too fast. This is way too early. Right. Oh god. The British have landed there. That's going to have several effects. Firstly, that's going to mean... The Germans for the Germany's forces are going to be here, which means they're going to be very close to where I'm going to be attacking, and also it means that they're getting close to taking Berlin, which is mine. I didn't want to go to war for quite a while. However, we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it now. Now, um, we need to get as many units in the attack wave as we can, so let's quickly add those marines on, and these other marines can be our backup. Uh, do we want to join a faction? Uh, quite frankly, um, that can wait. Sounds like an odd decision, but there's a Norwegian faction, is there? No. Okay, shame. I really did want to create my own faction. But oh well, we can't have our thing. Let's go to war! Oh, I need to justify a war goal. And that took me 40 days. Yeah, I would like Shvier Holstein. Go, 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 go. Medium tank destroyer. Uh... Oh, did that use my 50% bonus? Ah, oh, what a waste. I didn't save 50% on there. I guess it's too small to have that. That's a massive waste. That could have saved me a lot of time. Oh, well. We live and learn. We live and learn. I mean, people are going to hate me for it. The comment section is going to go crazy, but sure, that happens. Um... Still working on that. Still working on that. Dear God, we're working on too many things right now. I'm... A little bit worried. Uh, let's get Marines too, because it will make my Marines stronger. It only takes 55 days. Don't take my land. Don't take my land. Don't take my land. Sure, I won't be using the dockyards, but sure. Uh, because I don't want to waste my manpower, which I don't have. Before people ask. Aviation effort. Yes. Okay, the end of the month. Fall of Rome, again. I think they've got to put something in there to stop this triggering repeatedly. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they've been beaten back, so we can afford to wait a little while. I will keep my justification, though. Yep. 
Yeah, Germany's a little bit worried now. They've, they've conned on. Have they taken Paris back? No. There we go, they have. Oh. <gasps> France is diplomatic guaranteeing us. Oh, thank you, France. That's so kind of you. We've got maintenance company. Germanic is justifying. Yep, there we go. I was expecting they'd uh, done something to annoy France. Um, it's ahead of time. I guess we could probably do updating our industry. We are now in the business of updating our industry. So, construction speed plus 10%. There we go. Greenland can still have nothing. Sorry, Greenland. You kind of suck. France has managed to lose a load of forces over here, although they are expanding. Okay, I can declare on Germany. Although Germany is building its forces against me, so it might not work as intended now. Hmm. Recruitment stalled because of the uh, population. Fine. Uh, reinforcement is high priority. Upgrade is high priority. Don't care about the, you know, the new, new, what, what do you call them? Fodder. Yeah, the new, the new fodder. It's not, not my top priority right now. Um, what we could do is do a landing and try and land a keel and then chop off their advanced force. Because they will be putting a force there to take me out. Uh, they have, you know, got a, oh, I've got to go in the next... Two months? I thought the window was bigger than that. Uh, how long does it take to prepare to go to a naval invasion? Too long. And I only have naval invasion tech one. Okay. Let's plan a naval invasion. Okay, and that will take you 70 days. We also need reserved convoys, which we should have. Yes, okay. Let's actually stop making some of those convoys. We've actually got way too many now. Not way too many. Like, I like to have a comfortable amount of convoys, but we don't need to be using this oil and this steel, which I could, you know, just not import. If we check our trade now, we should have, yeah, we're importing too many of these. Okay. That gives an extra factory. I can't go closed economy because we're not at war. Limited exports, I can't do. Because I need to be at war. Okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff I want to do when we go to war, put it that way. Oh, they're sending troops away. Interesting. I approve. How long till my research is done? 37 days for the motorized rocket artillery. Okay, I can swing that. Marines too. Good. Landing craft too long. Okay. The war is a stalemate for those guys at the moment. Marines 2. Thank you very much. No Marines 3 at least. Uh, right, what about mechanized? By the way, people have suggested using paratroopers. I can't get control of the skies, so I've given up on paratroopers before I've even begun. It's just not going to happen. There's no way we can guarantee having control of the skies to be able to drop them. Ooh, choices of choices of choices. Choices. 
rocket artillery would actually be really helpful because it would give us more bang for our buck on infantry units. And since we're going to be mostly infantry units, I kind of think that's a necessity for us. We're going to push very shortly. They only have one unit and one unit, so as soon as we punch through those... Oh, they left! They left! Now, of course, they're still walking, so just got to wait a little bit longer. The longer I wait plays into my hand with this invasion being closer to done. Also, how close is... Uh, yeah, you're like half a year. Aviation effort, okay. They still got the justification against us. Sure, develop air doctrine, whatever. They've got forces there instead, but they're, you know, motorized, which isn't great attack. Let's actually look. Uh, they do have support artillery on them, but meh. And uh, infantry type 3. Not bad, actually. Uh, they've got an artillery and a support artillery. Not great, but not bad. Motorized rocket artillery, excellent. Uh, probably grab mechanized. We won't be able to use it just yet. We don't have the uh, industrial might. Uh, motorized, right, okay. I would like... Soft attack is up by 100. Organization is down by a little bit. I think that's completely worth it. That soft attack is actually really strong. We've we've quadrupled our soft attack. And we're up to a combat width of... Ooh, too much. Okay. Mm. Max speed's still the same, though. But look at that soft attack, though. They could be a quick assault force. The organization is halved. Okay, I'm going to remove two. I know it really harms their ability to do damage, but part of the reason is because it'll save me on the experience and also because it'll save me having to make a new type of truck as much. The max speed actually is down a little bit, but I can, I can tank that. Oh, let's get making that then. I only need 160. I can totally deal with that. Right. Before the end of the month, because at the end of the month is when we expire. Ten more days. And then twenty days later. Oh yes, yes, move away. Be really aggressive in your battle plan. Like really aggressive. Right. Three. This is a very, very silly idea. We're going to war with Germany by ourselves. Two. One. Push. Yeah, of course, they call in all their allies. Sure, whatever. France wants military access. Uh, I will accept. I will give them all military access. Nash of Spain joined the Axis. Okay. Ooh, German interest in Scandinavia. The German Reich has a clear strategic interest in Scandinavia. Both for Ah, see, I beat, I beat them to it. I beat them to it. I'm happy. Uh, they're a real, real threat to any resources ferried through the Baltic or North Sea. We gradually intensify diplomatic th uh, threats against Denmark and Norway, and increase in German military operations in the region seems likely. This does not bode well, and we must consider our options. Um, 
Like, is there a difference? We'll consider our options. Whatever. I. They declare war on Norway. Hi, Norway. I wish we could have our own faction. I'll offer you military access. Invite faction request. There we go. I uh, will sign non-aggression packs of you. Um, I, I'm going to leave the invite faction because I can join the faction basically any time. No, I join the allies. Okay. Right. I very specifically want you to go here. You to go here. And you to push on to Berlin as soon as possible. Yeah, they've strategically redeployed to try and get their troops in there. Soviet Union invited me to a faction. Now, isn't that interesting? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. The Soviet Union has invited me to a faction. You see... If I join Comintern, even being democratic, I could help take over the world. And we could go for a world conquest as Denmark. As Denmark alone, it would be much, much harder. On the Allies, just the way the Allies work, you can't really get a world conquest in. It is possible, but it's just much slower going and it's not, it's not as dynamic. So, I don't know which faction to join. I will... You know what we'll do? We'll keep playing until just before the 29th of April. And then I'll pause and then we'll go to a, uh, we'll have a, we'll have a poll or something. And, you know, the poll won't literally be, you know, I'll go on whichever gets the highest, but I will take that into account and also take into account, especially comments in the comment section down below. So in the comment section down below, give me reasons to, a, you know, pro or con against joining any faction, any faction. Uh, it could be, I mean, Italy, they're very unlikely to get us in a faction. Uh, we've got, you know, offers from these two. We could also go it alone, or we could try and join Poland. Uh, although that said, they're very unlikely to have us. Go it alone is probably the stronger option out of that and the other factions. Uh, but, you know, these two are the main options, really. Allies or communist. Um, now, we were playing Democrat Denmark, so, you know, strictly, if we're going to be historical, we could go with allies. But Democrat Denmark doesn't necessarily mean we go allies. It just means we play as a Democrat nation. So, I'm going to just... Turn the speed down a little bit, and we'll stop before the 29th. Yeah, they're trying to bolt their forces up. Fall of Cairo. Italian soldiers entered Cairo. Yeah, whatever. Um, you're a general, so you can't do a front line. Okay, I'm going to tell you to kill your battle plan of invasion navally. Because there's no point. We've already got that. I'm going to give you a front line order of there. And then your offensive order is going to be capture... Berlin. And I want you to be aggressive about it as well. We've got to be aggressive. Also, I've completely bumbled this, but we should go service by requirement. Mm, extensive conscription. Train time plus 10 or train time plus 20, but factory and construction speed output minus 10. Um... We'll get extensive conscription for now. I'll always ramp it up later. Total mobilization. Yes. And now we have three military factories. Oh, it feels so good to actually have military factories three for once. Okay. Insufficient resources. Okay, um... 
Sweden. You're fairly decently nearby. It's just steel, isn't it, that we need? Yeah. Why are we pushing over here, by the way? Like, this isn't your actual order. I'm not sure why they've decided to, you know, go AWOL, but whatever. I'll get them to manually push to Berlin. Yes, keep pushing. There we go. Germany's trying to redeploy its forces. Come on. Take the land. Yeah, we have Berlin. Ich bin eine Berliner. Yes, now it's spreading that force out. I need that force spread out nice and quick. We need to defend the land we've got. Have they cut off Berlin? They have cut off Berlin indeed. Uh, National Spain has joined in. Come on, we need to get back to Berlin. I want Berlin back. Also, why the hell are you attacking? I'm quite happy with that bot. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Whatever. Lithuania capitulated. We've got a few more days before I have to end, because that's the decision for the United Kingdom. Uh, ooh, we've got more? Sure, we do need a lot more uh, arms. Uh, yes. There we go. Okay. Have I got more? Oh my god, I've got loads. Oh, it's because we captured all the German land. I need to keep this land as much as possible. This is crazy. Dear God, I'm loving this. I have factories. I mean, I need to import, like, everything. Ever. Ever created. But, yeah, I, I like this. Soviet Union, because they're the closest for importing. Um, Sweden. Hi, I'd like to import, like, everything you ever produced. Tungsten. Oh, God. Did they sink everything? No, they sunk a sub. Oh, and apparently everything else. Right. Oh. Well. Come on, we need to save Berlin. There we go. You attack there. Try and widen that frontage. Latvia capitulated. Maybe we should thread the needle and try and surround this force. It's not a big force, but hey, it's something. Uh, I will take Bremen back if you want, want to defend it, mate. Like, sure, if you don't want to defend this, I will have it. <coughs> Not sure why I've got this territory, but whatever. Um, okay. I think... Ah, the, I went a little bit too far. The United Kingdom one expired. But they'll still have us in their faction. The important one is the Comintern one, because I'm not sure if they will have us in our faction forever. Um... This is going to end the episode. Do, like, vote on the poll. If I forget to put the poll up, remind me on Twitter. Uh, and let me know down below in the comment section exactly who we should be going for in war and why. I think we've got this. Look at this. They aren't even able to defend properly. Look at those forces. That's... That's nothing. And we have... 
we have the ability to produce troops. We have military factories. It's it's insane. We've got the juicy bit of Germany here, which is uh, the lucky part of Denmark. If you do get to go on offensive, grab the juicy territory because it's right next to you. Poland is safe because of Germany's advance, which is weird. Both of them and us are losing... I'm not losing a war, thank you very much. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but suggest down below which faction we join in. But until then, I've been interested. If you've enjoyed, please like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And of course, until next time, stay shiny.